What's up, everybody? Richard Jammer with WSN.com back today with another props bet video. This time, taking a look at Week 11's matchup between the Green Bay Packers and the Tennessee Titans. Now, both these teams are coming off wins this past week. The Packers in much more exciting fashion, of course, going into overtime, beating the Dallas Cowboys, while the Titans squeaked out a win against the Denver Broncos, who, as bad as their offense is and really wasn't that great last week as well, their defense has always been great, so that's a great win for the Titans. But on a short week, you know, the, the thing with short weeks is that, you know, a lot of these game plans are a little bit more, not like paint by numbers, but they're a little bit more simplistic. There's less time to prepare and whatnot. But uh, with that, you know, we might see, um, you know, a little bit more of a rushing attack here, which is what the Tennessee Titans like to do. And speaking of which, our very first prop bet that we're going to take a look at in this one is is Derrick Henry. But before we get to that, I want to let you all know that all of these prop bets are available at different sports books. Uh, we have a, well, we have two from DraftKings and one from Caesars. So um, we also have links to those down in the description below where you can go ahead and sign up and get some exclusive offers from us here at WSN.com. But with that, let's dive in. First off, with Derrick Henry. Uh. Now, for this prop bet, we got Derrick Henry over 97 and a half rushing yards. That's minus 125 over at DraftKings. Um, listen, man, I, <laughs> Derrick Henry is just, he's fantastic. I mean, other than last week, uh, you know, that was actually last week was like probably his worst game of the year if you look at rushing yards and lack of scoring because every other game this season, he's had at least 80 rushing yards or a touchdown. Last week, he didn't have either. He went for just over 50 yards. So uh, before that, he had five straight games of over 100 yards. And uh, he's had back-to-back -back games, actually, with less than 20 carries. That hasn't happened at all this year. In fact, he's had over 20 carries in every game except for, obviously, the last two weeks. And also back against Buffalo, where they got shellacked like a million to zero. So he's been getting tons and tons of carries. Um, and uh, he's the focal point of the offense each and every week. This is going to be a colder game. It's going to probably be around 20 degrees there in Green Bay with you know 10 to 15 mile an hour winds, a chance of some precipitation, which bodes well for somebody like Henry who should be able to just manhandle um, this uh, Packers defensive front. That's also you know without Rashawn Gary, he's he's out for the year, and also potentially without Devondre Campbell at linebacker. So we're definitely going to take the Henry over in this one. Uh. Next up, we got Aaron Rodgers. We're going to take the over at one and a half passing touchdowns. It's minus 110 over at DraftKings. And hey, we saw it last week. He threw for three touchdowns, and Christian Watson is the new downfield threat for this team. I know that, you know, a few weeks back on the Pat McAfee show, Rodgers actually did say that he wanted to get Christian Watson involved, and they did this last week. Three touchdowns for the rookie, um, which against the, against the Cowboys defense, which is fantastic. And also this week, uh, you know, Rodgers and the Packers are facing a Titans defense that is giving up the second most passing yards in the league per game at over 270. And, you know, with Watson being there on the outside and him being a threat to an opposing defense, this is going to open up more in the passing game for guys like Alan Lazard or maybe Aaron Jones out of the backfield. Um, and as bad as the Packers offense has been this year, Rodgers is still thrown for some touchdowns. He's thrown for two plus touchdowns in every game this season, except for three. And, um, and yeah, like the, the Titans run defense is one of the best in the league. So we're going to have to see some more throwing in this one from Rodgers. So I really, I think he's going to get over this one and a half passing touchdowns for sure. And speaking of that, we're going to move on to our last prop, which is an anytime touchdown. Oh. From, Packers wide receiver Alan Lazard. That's plus 190 over at Caesars, which, first of all, that's just great value because with Alan Lazard, you're getting a guy who, yes, he had just four targets last week, but he has not had less than seven targets in any game except for the very beginning of the season. He's going to be going up against, uh, out of the slot anyway, he's going to be going up against Elijah Molden, who just came back from injury, but also... Um, Lazard, he lines up both outside and inside. Uh, it's kind of like if you look at like the split stats, he lines up on the outside 58% of the time, roughly. And he's in the slot roughly 39% of the time. So he's going to get some good matchups all over the field because he's got Elijah Molden out of the slot. And on the outside, you know, the Titans are sporting uh, Roger McCreary and Terrence Mitchell, who aren't anything really to get worried about. 
Um, his average depth of target downfield is 12.8 yards on the year, and he's actually had a game with 17 points. So this is a guy that Rodgers can also look for down the field or if he's out of the slot, get those underneath routes as well. And he's also averaging 1.76 yards per route run, which is a great stat because that shows you that he is running down the field um, more, and he's – that. That line there, the 1.76, is 26th in the league amongst all receivers with 40-plus targets. And also, as mentioned before with Christian Watson on the outside, kind of trying to take the cover off the defense, that can open up more of those underneath routes for Lazard or just more you know, in favor for him um, as the safeties maybe try to go more towards Watson. So uh, we really like Lazard anytime TD at plus 190. That's a great line, and that's something we definitely have got to sprinkle some cash on. But... With that, everybody, that does it for this week's episode of the t- Thursday Night Football Prop Bets. I'll be back on Monday with the Monday Night Football Prop Bets, but just again to run through it real quick, Derrick Henry over 97.5 rushing yards, minus 125 at DraftKings. Aaron Rodgers over 1.5 passing touchdowns, minus 110 at DraftKings. And an Alan Lazard anytime touchdown at plus 190 over at Caesars. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Richard Jammer on WSN.com's YouTube channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you can notify when I release new videos here on the channel and prop bet videos from me uh, especially. So comment down below. Let me know what you think of the picks. Come back after the game. Let me know if any of these hit for you. And uh, we'll see you later. Peace.